any predictions on when Starship might land on Mars without crew, maybe a crewed flight? Any, uh, any prediction there? Well, mm, I think three or four years. Yeah, three or four years from now is Elon Musk's estimate of Starship's target time to reach Mars. To achieve that, the Raptor engine, the most important part that lifts the entire rocket, must first be reliable. However, it's been 14 years since being unveiled in 2009, and the engine has yet to help Starship reach orbit. This is a Raptor's big problem. Why does it have such a problem? Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. First of all, there is no doubt that the biggest advantage of Raptor is its super powerful thrust, but sometimes it becomes a double-edged sword. As you know, a single Raptor 2 produces 510 zero pounds of thrust, while an F1 engine has 1.5 million pounds of thrust. But if 33 Raptors burn together, Starship can generate nearly 16.7 million pounds of thrust when taking off, surpassing the legendary Saturn V. Indeed, this retired NASA rocket with five F1 engines in the first stage can only produce half the thrust of Starship. So what if all 33 Raptors performed well? Starship will reach orbit easily. What if they explode? Well, it is truly a disaster. On April 20, the full Starship made its first launch attempt, which ended in an explosion. The blast from the launch left a 385-acre landfill, hurled concrete blocks as far as 2,680 feet from the launch pad, and sparked a 3.5-acre fire. In addition, it also left a death hole on orbital launch mount. Their crazy power even rocked the Booster 7 prototype in late July 2022, engulfing the rocket platform in a ball of fire and thick smoke characteristic of a rotary launch test. Fortunately, this explosion did not lead to B-7's destruction. That's actually why the FAA is always cautious whenever issuing Starship launch permits. SpaceX itself also encountered many difficulties in simultaneously controlling these monsters during testing. Second, building a conventional rocket engine and making it reliable is a challenge, let alone one with a complex design like the Raptor. Indeed, SpaceX's Raptor engine is one of the small number of engines running on the full-flow staged combustion cycle. Full-flow staged combustion is a twin-shaft staged combustion cycle that uses both oxidizer-rich and fuel-rich pre-burners. The cycle allows the full flow of both propellants through the turbines, hence the name. The fuel turbopump is driven by the fuel-rich pre-burner, and the oxidizer turbopump is driven by the oxidizer-rich pre-burner. This design allows the engine to achieve greater efficiency by using all of the available fuel without wasting any of it to power its turbo pumps. It is also considered the most optimal cycle to date. However, developing it is so difficult because of the increased engineering complexity of two pre-burners relative to a single shaft staged combustion cycle as well as an increased parts count. No engine using this cycle has ever made it past the testing stage. Take for example, there were previously the Soviet Union's RD-270 engine and the USE's integrated powerhead demonstrator project attempted to run on this cycle without success. Elon Musk bet a lot on his engine when deciding to use this wonderful but risky design. That means he has to start everything almost from scratch because there is no successful example to learn from. The only thing he can learn is from the mistakes of his predecessors and the mistakes of himself. Third, unlike other engines, the Raptor engine is always set to its maximum limit, meaning it is still in the process of evolution, so failure is inevitable. Revealed since 2009, the public has now known various iterations of Raptor. Following the first generation, SpaceX continued to upgrade it to version 2, which has a large number of performance and reliability improvements. In terms of design, Raptor 2 looks simpler than its predecessor, which has the funny name Christmas Tree. Indeed, when taking a look at this second version, we will see many features removed embracing, 
a large amount of plumbing and sensors, the torch igniters in the main combustion chamber and some flanges. Additionally, many valves were combined into valve plates, making plumbing further simplified. Thanks to those, Raptor 2's weight just reaches 1600 kilograms, which is much lighter than Raptor 1 at 2000 kilograms. Chamber pressure and thrust are also significantly increased, given that Raptor 2 reaches a chamber pressure of 300 bars, an increase of 50 bars compared to Raptor 1, and a thrust of 230 tons, higher than the 185 tons of thrust of version 1. Not just enough, in May 2023, Musk reported a successful static fire of Raptor 3 to 350 bars for 45 seconds, producing 269 tons of thrust. While there are not many details available about this version, it promises to be more modern and even lighter than the previous ones. Although the upgrade could be beneficial in reducing mass and increasing performance, thereby shortening the distance between Earth and Mars, it also comes with increased risks. The engine itself is very sensitive and complex. Once you proceed to remove or fix some parts of the Raptor, it means you will be redesigning it partially or even completely. And there is truth that the more changes the rocket engine has, the more likely it is to go wrong. That explains why SpaceX must conduct thousands of tests, including flight test with a Raptor iteration, to make it reliable with those updates, and it's very normal to constantly fail. In short, the biggest problem with the Raptor is that it is not fully operational for three reasons. It is so powerful, its design is complex, and SpaceX still wants to develop it further. So, this leads to the question, can the company succeed with this type of rocket engine? Well, it is hard to show the exact answer. As I said, Elon Musk took a risky step when designing his engine in a direction that no one else has succeeded. In reality, developing a full flow stage combustion cycle is fundamentally difficult, let alone upgrading it. No one including Elon Musk can guarantee whether the Raptor will become the first rocket engine with this design that can help the rocket reach orbit. On the other hand, this does not mean that SpaceX cannot do it. On the journey to making Raptor reliable, the company has achieved remarkable achievements. As you can see, Raptor version 2 passed two recent static fire tests with quite impressive results. The fact that 31 of the 33 Raptors were active in the full duration during Booster 9's second static firing test, meaning a success rate of 93.9% .9 is significant, right? More notably, SpaceX broke the record with Raptor's third version with a chamber pressure of 350 bars, which is considered the most powerful rocket engine ever built, surpassing giants like the RD-180, ERS-25, or F-1. Also, the Raptor is not the first one the SpaceX team built. They previously practiced on Falcon's Merlin engine. To be honest, the company encountered countless challenges with igniting it in the early years, particularly from 2004 to 2009. They overcame many difficulties during the Falcon 1 era, yet still faced issues during Falcon 9 development. To date, the Falcon 9 with its Merlin engine is truly SpaceX milk cow. In this half year alone, it has helped Elon's aerospace business reach a new record, meaning the company delivered about 80% of Earth's total payload mass into orbit. For that reason, why don't we pin our hopes on the success of the Raptor project? The upcoming Starship test is an important milestone for the project because it will tell the SpaceX team what they will have to do next with their Raptor engines. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.